For the second game in a row, the Houston Rockets were clutch in the fourth quarter and the defending champion Warriors clanked and fumbled their way to a loss. Houston won Game 3, 9-8, 9-4 because down the stretch Eric Gordon made plays and free throws and Draymond Green fumbled away the Warriors' chance. It started with the Rockets up one with less than two minutes to go, when Eric Gordon, who led the Rockets with 24 points, drained a three that gave Houston some breathing room. E.g. for three, RocketsPick.Twitter.com slash Juxo ATQOI, NBA at NBA May 25, 2018 Six seconds later, Draymond Green answered with a three to keep it a one-point game. With 10 seconds left in the game, a Trevor Ariza free throw made it a two-point game, giving the Warriors a chance to come down and tie a win. Then Green did this, Gordon was fouled, hit two free throws, and it was ball game. The Rockets are now up 3-2 in the series and are one win away from the finals. I personally thought a Western Conference Finals game couldn't get any uglier after I watched Game 4 between the Golden State Warriors and Houston Rockets. Boy, was I wrong. Thursday night's Game 5 matchup between the Rockets and the Warriors two teams produced three heinous quarters of NBA playoff basketball, made even more unbearable by the fact that we know how good these two teams can be when they're really humming. Much as it was in Game 4 it was Houston's defense that was on display, ironically forcing the Warriors to play much in the way the Rockets do when they lose. Golden State battled the shot clock with isolation ball much of the game, with Kevin Durant getting the ball at the top of the arc as some of the league's top players, including a two-time MVP and Stephen Curry, widened the floor in a 1-4 flat set for the 7-foot wing. To their credit, both Curry and Durant were in good shooting form through the first half but as the periods ground on they started to slow. Draymond Green was Draymond Y, scoring 12 points while grabbing a game-high 15 rebounds with 4 assists. Statistically, it's hard to understand how the Warriors lost. Golden State shot better from the field, from the arc, and from the charity stripe. But their scoring was concentrated and their offense predictable at just the wrong moments. Houston's attack was nothing to shake a stick at, either. James Harden scored just 19 points on 5 of 21 shooting, and as a unit the Rockets stole out 12 assists. Incessant switching and a tendency to hound the ball on defense allowed Houston to force a whopping 18 turnovers from Golden State. It was the most important statistic of the game for the Rockets, who scored 18 points on those turnovers despite being outpaced in 3-point shooting, points in the paint, and in fast-break buckets. James Harden tied a record tonight for most three-point attempts in a game without making one. The 0-4-11 club, James Harden, Stephen Curry, Trey Burke, Antoine Walker, John Starks, Asterisk Playoffs, Dan Feldman at Dan Feldman, the May 25, 2018 Then, the fourth quarter happened. Everything changed, and as we are wont to do, the game felt much cleaner. Both teams had their energy up, they traded baskets, and the lead went back and forth. Enter Chris Paul. Houston's point guard was the savior, scoring 20 points on a piddly 6 of 19 shooting performance. But Paul's box score did not tell the tale of his impact on the game. Several times with the shot clock winding down, Paul came up with big beyond the arc buckets, at one point hitting one over Curry, giving him back a shoulder shimmy much the way the Warriors point guard did in Game 4. Paul's leadership pushed Houston forward, but his commitment during Game 5 might get overlooked after the Rockets' point guard was forced to check out of the game after a play with 51 seconds remaining. On a floater in the lane, Paul appeared to hurt his right hamstring. Unable to play, Paul had to watch the final minute from the Houston bench, and his availability for Game 6 is currently up in the air. It was ugly and it was gritty, but the Rockets beat Golden State on Thursday night, 98-94, to take Game 5 and a 3-2 series win as the Western Conference Finals heads back to Oakland. Now, we look toward Game 6 in California on Saturday, May 26 at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Draymond Green is the backbone of the Golden State Warriors, not just because he was the 2016-17 NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Green sort of does it all, including passing, scoring, rebounding, and myriad other scrap work that doesn't show up on regular box scores. But there was some doubt in Green's mind in 2016 that he would stay with the team. Green was involved in an argument during a game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, and after things settled down the Warriors' big man was concerned the team might trade him. The thought of doing so is sort of ridiculous, but apparently there was something that flashed into Green's mind given the tenseness of the situation between he and Kerr. 
via Bleacher Report, but Green's mood was still foul, and he left the arena that day believing his days as a warrior were numbered. He feared the relationship had been fractured, that the Warriors would choose Kerr over him. That had be traded. 100%, Green tells B. R. Especially with the success that he was having as a coach. Like, you just don't get rid of that. The thing that makes Golden State great isnt just the players, or the system, or Kerr. It's the human resources management aspect of their organization that allows them to compete on the court in the way they do. It's not crazy to think that a player could be shipped out of town thanks to a disagreement with a coach, although the leverage players have these days likely has put a stop to that realistically happening. But that Kerr, Green, and management were able to get things back under control that was to the benefit of everyone involved. The Houston Rockets have been supportive of the Texas community after a gunman killed 10 people and injured 10 others at Santa Fe High School in Santa Fe, Texas. Rockets point guard Chris Paul called NBA basketball minor compared to what those in Santa Fe are having to endure, and on Thursday the team took things a step further and donned special jerseys for their playoff matchup against the Golden State Warriors. As Houston prepared to take on the reigning Shams in Game 5 back in Texas, the team tweeted out a photo of the jerseys, complete with a special patch on the left shoulder, to honor the victims of the shooting. Via Twitter, Rockets owner, Tillman Furtater honors victims of Santa Fe High School shooting with Santa Fe strong t-shirts for Game 5 vs. Warriors. Pick.twitter.com slash at Chick Bengal Iver at Bengal of May 25, 2018 The NBA has a lot of advocates for social and political change, not just individually but organizationally. How the Rockets responded is good to see in the face of yet another school shooting. The Warriors missed Andrea Guadala in Game 4 against Houston. They don't have a death. Hampton's five lineup without him. Without his depth, the Warriors had to lean more on players such as Kevin Looney who started, Nick Young, and others who can be a liability at the high level of play in this series. Not having a Guadala to keep minutes down, play fierce defense, move the ball on offense, and be a stabilizing force was one of the issues that led to the Warriors' fourth-quarter issues in Game 4. Now they are without him for Game 5, too. Injury update for tonight's Game 5 at Houston, Clay Thompson left knee strain is available to play. Andre Aguadala left lateral leg contusion is out. Warriors PR at Warriors PR May 24, 2018 Having Clay Thompson on the court is huge for Golden State, although it will be worth monitoring to see how he moves. The Warriors have gotten sucked into the switching, isolation game the Rockets want to play. If they're going to take Game 5 on the road they need to get back to the beautiful game they want to play. That would have been easier with Aguadala.